An unexpected twist in the case of a teenager accused of killing his parents in the southern tier put that teen's own words on the record this morning. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. A hearing that usually lasts a few minutes ended up having the prosecution present his case to the court. And the details in that case, they were stunning. Two New Sides' Dave McKinley was in Allegheny County Court for the hearing today. He has the latest for us tonight. Dave? After a preliminary hearing held at the Allegheny County Courthouse in Belmont, a judge ruled that there is, in his mind, enough evidence to continue to hold Larson, who faces charges of murder and manslaughter. Prosecutors showed the judge 25 minutes of what was a three hour videotape police interrogation of the 17 year old conducted at the state police barracks in Amity following his arrest after an all day manhunt last week. State police investigator Christopher Weber seen here took the stand to say that Larson told him it was his father who shot his mother outside the family home on Courtney Hollow Road on the afternoon of November 5th while Larson was sleeping and that when he awoke to find what had happened, he says his dad threw a knife at him before he shot his dad. He also told them he left their bodies outside here for more than two weeks before he dragged them inside and attempted to burn the house down. How compelling do you think that videotaped interrogation is? All I'm going to say is he's presumed to be innocent. He has a right to due process and it'll be my job to prove him guilty. But he also indicated his belief that the proof will show that Larson killed both his mother and father. Autopsies upon whom showed they had both been stabbed as well as shot and for whom funeral services were held in Cuba this afternoon, 13 miles away from the courthouse where their son stood accused of their murders. During that videotaped interview, which was conducted last Thursday, Larson is seen wearing the same clothes that he appeared to be wearing in court today. In Belmont, Allegheny County, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.